Yo, yo, yo. <clears throat> Back at it, it's your boy Big Keith, Big Truck Boy, Big Truck Driver. You already know. Yo, so, just give you a little background, right? I have a nonprofit where we uh, feed the homeless, and we also, you know, feed the veterans as well. <clears throat> It's called First Class Love and Care. And actually, uh, you can check the IG, First Class Love and Care on IG. And uh, Facebook, the same. And uh, YouTube, First Class Love and Care. Uh, all together. First, you know, number one is team. You know, class, Love and Care. Anyway, uh, so, you know, I had a few plans on going to Africa in the summer of 2023. I was trying to figure out where we're at in Africa where we want to go and really for one to visit the motherland two to really dive deep into the uh, ancestry <clears throat> and three to build some connections to be able to start doing some nonprofit work out there and we still want to do that now a couple of things and please feel free to comment, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, though. Hit that comment button, man. Subscribe to my channel, man. Like my stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? But, so we're going to keep it all the way funky. So, uh, it's always been tension between Africans and uh, black Americans. I just seen this video, excuse me. <clears throat> I just seen this video. I just got, you know, explaining his point of view about, you know, some situation a, a, a lady was talking about from a video he watched uh, an African getting attacked in another country or whatnot. And I think it might have been India or something like that. And they were, uh, you know, attacking him and, you know, doing him real bad. And, you know, she was saying that all, you know, all black people need to come together. You know what I'm saying? And all Africans, you know, everybody need to come together. And... He was like, well, why? Because we're not the same. We're different. And he was explaining how somebody, he got into an argument with a guy in the comments, arguing the points about, you know, there's no difference, it is a difference. My man felt like, you know, where the fuck were y'all whenever our people were going through what we were going through during slavery times, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, one no fighter planes been sent over here to come and get us or none of that in fact it kind of you know birthed the tension to where you know it's tension between blacks and Africans you know black Americans and Africans you know now you know I mean you know from the motherland now have I ever encountered some some hate like that hell yeah I've also encountered some great Africans as well. Now have I encountered some fucked up black folk? Oh, we tell you, we call them niggas. You fucking right. You know what I'm saying? But you got, you know, fucked up people everywhere. So it ain't no secret. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all folk might be fucked up as well. But you know, it, it's it's there. You know, but I've walked through the flea markets here in Atlanta, and you know, most of them, the Africans are in their southern stuff and shit like that, and I've heard the word Nakata a couple of times, and I was like, what the fuck does that mean? And I swear I had it some years ago, and I kind of didn't really think about it, you know what I'm saying, the motherfucker showed, sold me a shirt and a hat and all this, that, and the third of it. He was really looking standoffish and shit like that, you know, the typical uppity type shit, you know what I mean? And I just got my shit and got the fuck on, you know what I mean? I got too much, I ain't had that kind of time to really just deal with that type of shit, you know, because you got something that I want, you want some money, so let's go on and make this trade happen. And boom, bop, I'm gone, you know what I'm saying? But it was always tense because we always kind of felt like that, yeah, you know, they don't identify as black. That's a fact, they identify as Africans. Africans, they're from Africa, you know what I'm saying? Blacks, we are from here, you know? I'm from, I was born in Miami, Florida, really raised in Atlanta, never spent a day in Florida. 
as a youngin'. Never. You know what I'm saying? I got my first taste of Florida when I was maybe 13. When I met my father for the first time. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of fucked up. That's neither here nor there. That has nothing to do with anything, but I'm just saying. Um, from here. <clears throat> with that being said, oh, and now my people live too. The ones that I know. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, you know, the older we got, you know what I mean? The older we get, we want to travel abroad. You know what I mean? And we've been a couple of places. I'm a truck driver as well, you know. Now I have a nonprofit. Uh, I'm a truck driver. I'm also uh, a self-proclaimed chef. I'm straight up. Be doing it big on that. You know what I mean? Neighborhood Kitchen. I got a Facebook for that as well. So hashtag Neighborhood Kitchen. Y'all already know. You can even Google that. Hashtag all one word. Hashtag Neighborhood Kitchen. Chef Big Keith, man. I let your boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, and on Instagram. Too. But anyway, so we want to travel abroad. And not only that, you know, I know Africa ain't always what it was depicted to be to us on TV. Because here's the, nut, here's the other disconnect, the media. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> what they see over there about us is the ratchet shit, all the extra shit. You know what I'm saying? The bullshit. And, and and the good education and all that there. You know, now what we see and what we have been shown about Africa when I was growing up, starving children, um, nothing. You know what I mean? And occasionally you might see some beautiful land. You know, I, I think my real depiction of Africa might have came from uh, the color purple. You know what I'm saying? And the, I don't even know, if they, I, I do know they went to Africa for that, but I, I think they did. You know, but I do I do know that the, the lady that played Nettie is a rare African princess. That's a fact. You know, um, you can look that up. But anyway, uh, they were all on Oprah. You know, I think I forgot we year that it had to be like ninety two or ninety three or something like that when Oprah had her show. You know what I mean? Um, or it might have been a little, a little later than that. Maybe uh, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. It might have been ninety eight or maybe early two thousand something like that. I don't know. But uh, anyway. <clears throat> That was my depiction of Africa, which was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So as I got older and started to really just, you know, wising up, because honestly the tension is really on some ignorant shit because we really don't really know of one another and all we know is what we've seen on TV. And so it's no secret that a lot of Africans and their people, you know, school them on not to fuck with us because that's their attitude whenever they come over here towards us. I've met some cool ass Africans, you know what I'm saying? But I can count them motherfuckers on one hand that I've met over here, you know? Now, it might be different for a lot of cats that's in New York or down in uh, uh, Miami or over there in LA. It might be a little different, but here in Atlanta, you know what I mean? Not so much, my friend. <laughs> Straight up, you know? <clears throat> so my thing is, I'm like, well, hey, I feel like we should build bridges. I feel like we should bridge this gap between Africans and African Americans. You know what I mean? Or black Americans, let's just say that. You know what I'm saying? Even though, yeah. You know, and put in the comments whether or not, you know, what do you see the difference is between African Americans and Africans? Or black Americans and Africans, you know what I mean? Is there a difference? Do you think there's a difference? What do y'all think? Put it in the comments, you know? Um, but, I mean, like I said, yeah, uh, damn right it's a, you know, it's a difference. Because when they go to Africa or living in Africa, that's where they're from, that's where their ancestors are, they ain't gonna touch their grandparents or whatever, whatever. Their lineage goes back on, at, in the motherland. Our shit go back here. And then when you do the ancestry, wherever you, you know, you give a uh, slave or however that shit is done, you know, you find that you got ancestors from Africa, then yeah, you know what I mean? And you, you know, you figure it out and try to, you know, get over there and meet your people or whatever, you know. And, you know, another thing the guy was saying, he was like, well, you know, uh, he was like, uh, yeah, you know, you, you can pretty much go and touch your people. We can't do that. And blacks are always trying to, you know, be accepted here and be accepted there. And, you know, you got this, you got that. Then you want to dress like this, you want to dress like that. So I was like, God damn, huh? you know, my thing is this. We here, this is our home, bro. It's a fucked up place, but it's our home. We hate to call it our dad, because we know that our ancestors are not from here. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, we want to, you know, we it's fucked up because, yeah, we, we are accepted. 
to other cultures. Facts. To other races. We are. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, I think we're more strong now than before. We know our we know our strength. We know our wealth. We know what we're worth now. That's how come you got a billionaire brother like Jay-Z, Diddy, and Ye, and all these folks. And that's who we get our inspiration and shit from. Those people. You know, that control the culture, that grew up in these same streets. You know what I'm saying? Whereas people over there, they idolize people over there. We idolize people here. And those guys, Deion Sanders, that's, you know, HBCU head coach, football coach over there in Jackson State. Come on, bro. The list goes, those are our heroes, our black heroes, excuse me. Our black heroes. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, we do want to go in and, and, and touch the motherland and, and find out where at in the motherland we're from. You know what I mean? That only makes right, huh? You know? So, I mean, yeah. Is there a disconnect? Yeah. You know, and, and it's terrible because the, the his, shit, some of the history that came out, but half of the shit that we already knew. A lot of Africans sold our ancestors. You know what I'm saying? That's how the fuck we got over here in the first place. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's that's the disconnect. You know what I'm saying? But then my thing is they come over here, yeah, and, and, and give us their ass to kiss. When goddamn. You know, put some respect on our name, my nigga. This country was built on our backs. The, the backs of slaves, you understand? Black American slaves built this goddamn country, even with the Indians and the black folks that were already here. That shit, we still built this country. You know what I mean? So you enjoy the freedom and all of that shit off the sweat off of our ancestors' backs. So how dare you give us your ass to kiss? Now, much love and respect to the ones that want us to come, that understood what actually happened, that know the actual history. You know what I'm saying? The year of the return. So I love and respect those people like that, those good people. Because, like I say, man, at the end of the day, we want to bridge this gap. You know, and I would love to be able to take my children to the motherland. You know what I mean? To lead the country that has oppressed our people. Huh? And go build, take our resources and go over there to the motherland and build like we should be doing. Bringing it back. I'm going to say it like the Florida niggas say, bringing it back. You understand? Like that. You know, so the question is, can we do that? Put that shit in the comments, man. Do y'all think we can bridge that gap? You know? I want to be able to go out there to Africa and feed the people. Not only that, I want to be able to teach. I want to be able to reach, man. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, I want to learn. Fuck all of that. I want to learn. You know what I mean? I, I just want to shut the fuck up, get there and learn. Because, hey, we can't go to Africa and try to Americanize Africa. That ain't it, my nigga. Things don't work over in Africa how they work over here. You feel me? So we can't go over there with that American attitude like, oh, we finna goddamn run it up, shout it, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know how we do, we hustlers, you know what I'm saying? So here in Atlanta, we hustling, this shit of the hustlers, man, you feel me? Like, it's all you know what I mean, we finna goddamn go grind it up, so you know what I mean, we gonna start this whole, man, you gotta figure out, you know, you gotta start from the mud, for real. You know what I'm saying? And get the law of the land, my guy. And tighten up, get the wings beneath your feet. You understand what I'm saying? And take off and jump the mountain that I know you can jump. Climb the buildings that I know you can climb. Get to the heights that I know you can get to. You feel me? Yeah, but my thing is, man, you know, we want to be able to bridge this gap and be able to get to the motherland and shit, man, and, and, and build, baby. And build together, you know? So I feel the sister when she said, yeah, we all need to get together. That's a fact. But we also have to recognize the elephant in the room. We got to address that. You know what I'm saying? And, and it doesn't have to be met with violence and anger and all that bullshit. Like, that's childish, homie. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I truly work off energy. So, you know, don't bring that bad energy on this channel or to me or none of these folks on that channel. You feel me? Take that shit down the street. At the 
the end of the day, we ain't with that, you know what I'm saying? Coming from Atlanta, GA, baby. You know, that's what we doing. And yeah, 2023, the summer of 2023, I want to make a trip to Africa. Uh, preferably wherever, you know what I'm saying? Really, like I said, I just want to get out there and learn, man. You know, tour the countries. You know what I mean? I really want to go to the continent, you know what I mean? And, and, and just see something other than this country. Shit, I'm a truck driver again. I've been driving trucks for over 14 years, man, so I'd have been all over this country, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to travel abroad. I want to go to the motherland. I want to go to the continent, you know what I mean? I want to go to Africa. Help me get them. If y'all got any connections and lines to connect, hey, man, Drop a comment down, man, and, and holler at me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. Get at me, man. Let me know what's going on so we can connect up, man. We can link up and connect this shit, man. And build bridges, baby. For real, for real, man. I, I, hey, man. All real cats, man. I'll let you boy. Let's build these bridges, man. You know, and a lot of those conversations do need to be had, man. You know, between cooler heads, man. Because cooler heads can prevail. You feel me? You ain't gonna get to arguing over top of somebody, man. But you know, until we all get to that, you know, number one understanding, everything will be cool, man. And honestly, bro, if we came together, man, we will be more powerful than any goddamn thing. I'm talking about for real. Man, no stop. Like, straight up, man. You know, like, it, it's wild, bro. But over here, it's rough. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit, bro. We got to deal with out here, man. And, and some cities is worse than others, man. You know what I mean? And shit, right now, you got rappers losing their lives left and right. You know what I mean? For jewelry and shit like that, you know? Hey, man. You got to stay out the way. You know what I'm saying? Stay out of the way and, and, and keep your head on the swivel and mind your business and do what you got to make your moves, you know? Like I said, it's all about how you be moving, you know? But anyway, I wanted to run that by y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? They really wanted to get y'all uh, thoughts and, and, and comments and shit like that, you know, what y'all might think, man. Like, subscribe, man. Holla at your boy, Big Keep TV, man. Big Truck Boy. Y'all already know, man. Get at your boy, man.